Welcome back to our gourmet kitchen here at Shade Derp. Um, we're ready to start the next day, and today we're apparently supposed to have a food critic in who's going to check out our food. Uh, now, we uh, I'm pretty sure we probably already earned a couple of Michelin stars, you know, if if not, you know, the very, the very first restaurant ever to earn four Michelin stars, because uh, I'm sure we're really good. <laughs> or, or, well, at the very least, I don't think we gave anybody food poisoning. Um, our first day went relatively well. Well, I guess it might have been the first two days, I think, actually, we tackled last video, but it went fairly well. Um, we're kind of getting a handle on how to work in the kitchen. Apparently, my stove looks this nasty because it's broken. I left it on and it kind of gets wear as it's left on. So, and I did it again last night because, you know, why would... Oh, same thing with this. All right, let's just turn stuff off. I apparently don't know how to take care of a kitchen. Uh, and I probably shouldn't be in command of these kinds of things. But there is a phone here we can use that we can call for repairs and stuff. Um, I have a little bit of light music playing on the radio. I switched that over to the, uh, the little jazz folder I use for some other streams and stuff. This is at 87%. Nice Corp repair 964. 25C for fast repair. Okay, wait. You know what? Let's go with Nice Corp. We'll use them. Um, I gather they're fixing that now, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. Let's get that to work on the stove, too, because apparently, again... Oh, this one's at 71%. I did not take good care of this. We'll get... We got Nice Corp to take care of both of those, so our, our kitchen will be in good condition. I need to remember to turn things off, because uh, that'll stop it from, from sort of degrading. I love how on the laptop you can see my little logo there. That's really cool. We did earn a few points uh, the last day. We're on day three now, actually, so yeah, I guess we've tackled two days already. We're currently level two... Our recipes are not exactly varied in this particular restaurant. We only have about five of them. Tomato soup. I completely messed up our simple Ukrainian borscht last time. Uh, so hopefully if we get an order for that today, we'll do a better job of handling it. Uh, I do know there's a point in this game where you can get multiple orders at the same time. And I, I can tell you right now, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be really, really fun to try to handle. Uh, we're not quite level three yet, so we unfortunately can't get another perk. Uh, and our skills are, well, skillful. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about those. There is the ability to redecorate our kitchen, though, here, that I didn't look at last time. I'd kind of like to redesign the way our kitchen looks a little bit. I mean, the wood floors are cool and all. Well, actually, I don't... I think I need to earn some levels. I can't really do much. I could do a horror kitchen, which makes it look almost like a dungeon. Uh, you know what? That's only 100C. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. What's this? Weave one temple. Seems to mostly change the... Well, the floors and the walls a little bit. Let's go with the horror kitchen. Because, I don't know, why not? Oh, that's floor tiles. Oh, I see. Basic. Not owned. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Oh, okay, so I paid 100 C only for the floor. Well, that sucks. All right, let's just get out of here. I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, Well, I mean, we have an interesting floor now, but... No, the, well, actually, the, no, the wall was already kind of busted up that way. All right, so uh, they are almost finished fixing my stove, which is good. We have like a few seconds left on that. Uh, prep time is over in 11 seconds, so uh, we should get our first order shortly after everything starts. I, I really wish we had a dish pit because the stuff is really kind of inconveniently placed. Get this on the stove so it's ready when we're ready to use it. We open our doors. First guest should arrive shortly. Oh, that was fast. First order: pork chops with baked potatoes. Wait a minute, that's a new one for me, I think. That might be a recipe I just bought. So, uh, take pork chop, season with salt, black pepper, and thyme. Add it to a plan pan with sunflower oil. Uh, and then the pork chops. Alright, so uh, sunflower oil we have here. We need uh, 30 milliliters of that, so we'll get that ready in the pan, I guess. I'm not going to remember how to pour everything. Don't go over. I want to get this to be perfect. 26, 29... Ah, 31. It's so hard to get that perfect. Pouring stuff in this game is, is definitely not the easiest thing in the world. All right. Uh, sunflower, we need uh, pork, cho pork chops. 200 grams. Now, there's probably only going to be one of them. I'm going to grab the cutting board. To, whoops. Grab the cutting board to work on this on. How much do the pork chops cost, anyway? Would you get that? Come on. Cutting board got in the way. All right. What I thought would make me more efficient totally did not. It's a good thing we can crouch in this. All right, pork chops. We've got that covered. Let's close up the fridge. I really, really need to remember to turn things off today. I don't want to have to keep paying for repairs in my kitchen. That's not a terribly efficient way to go about things. Throw some salt on here. Everyone likes salt on their pork. Yeah, because it's not salty enough already. All right. Salt, uh, pepper is on pretty much everything, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, black pepper, four grams. Oh, look, the salt's all like in a pile in the middle on it. I wonder, do you have to spread it out? Was it five grams I was supposed to put on there? I hope it was five. No, it was four. I just put too much on. Oh, it pays to read directions and, uh, well, actually I did read it, but it pays to remember directions. Dried thyme. We need six grams of dried thyme on here. Six grams. All right, we're good. Oh, don't throw that down there. I do not know how to take care of a kitchen. Okay, so sunflower oil, pork chops, fry for 90 seconds on each side, transfer to a plate. Uh, cut potatoes into chunks. 50 grams. Season with salt. Transfer into a baking tray and bake for 80 seconds. All right, well, let's uh, let's throw this in the pan. The neat thing about this game is nothing has to be preheated. It just um, It's just sort of automatically good. So that's covered. Um, so when I'm ready to go, I can actually just turn it on. It'll start frying like right away. Other like reality. Uh, 300 grams of potatoes. I need to cut that into 50 gram chunks. 150 grams these potatoes are. So that means we need to basically cut it into three to get it into 50 gram chunks. I'm gonna try and get it into even size chunks. I mean, it's gonna be really weird to bake it this way, but 50 gram chunks. Um, how do I free, uh, freeze products? That's one. That's two. What? No, I didn't. It. I didn't do it. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. That. It's like I'm making potato chips. Come on. Well, there's one chunk. It seems like holding the product. Uh, uh, this is just no good. Throw that in the fryer. Stupid potato. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, what can I do with this thing then? So I, we can try cutting it again. I mean, hopefully it will go a little better this time. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Okay. We're going to try this again. And hopefully it doesn't give me that same potato chip cutting business. Okay. One potato at a time. Be one with the potato. Slice the one. Slice the two. That, well, that's that's mildly better than it was before. It's still not right. But whatever, we'll take it. Let's try cutting it a little differently. We'll do blue slices this way instead. So I'm going to freeze the product. Cut that one. Cut that one. Please don't give me potato chips again. Ah, perfect. This potato chunk is 57 grams. All right, that's actually not bad. I mean, considering we're kind of eyeballing at 53 grams... And then this one will be 40. Okay, so that's good. All things considered, that's not that bad. I, now I can't get this to go in the oven. Go in the stupid oven! Okay. Mistakes were made. Okay, it's all off the floor. I mean, hopefully the customer won't notice. Maybe by the time we cook it, it'll be fine. Okay, there we go. That's in. Crank that on. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Um, that needs to cook for... How long? 80 seconds. No oh, 80 seconds? Alright, I gotta, I gotta get this going. This thing only... This thing has to fry on both sides. So I actually need it to be cooking before the potatoes. Because they do need to be hot. I wish I could see how hot these things are without having to open the door. Because when you open the door, the thing turns off. It's sort of a nuisance. I'm gonna get a plate ready for this puppy. Um, that's a deep dish plate. I don't know about that. We'll just get a place plate. I'm gonna go I'm gonna cheap it out this time. Now we really want this dish to go well because ultimately Ultimately we're kind of practicing for when our food credit comes in. We have a minute forty to get this done, and I'm it's gonna take me ninety seconds just to flip this thing. So I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna miss our time on this one. Okay, the potatoes are done. Um there we go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to pick that up. Hurry up! I, I'm, you know, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but this is not getting done on time. I'm sorry for your tips and all. I know it's going to affect how you get tipped. Fasha! Perfect. And let's get this plated, uh, because when we're all done, we can pick up the pork chop directly out of the pan onto the plate, minimize the time the customer has to wait, and that was not what I wanted to do. All right, that's good. Hopefully I didn't drop a potato on the floor. Of course I did. Can I pick it up or is it too hot? It's too hot. Ah. Uh. 
All right. Uh, we need that potato. I don't want to shortchange our customer. And, uh, you know, frankly, I know it's overtime. I get it. I get it. Bing, new order. Oh, I can't deal with this. This is like a high-pressure kitchen. Two orders. Um, I need more cooking utensils. Can I get these from here? Ooh, I can pick up this box. Oh, neat. I can actually put it closer, so I don't have to run all the way over there to get stuff. Cool. Oh, and they have everything in here, too. Uh, utensils. Do I have time to get utensils? Or is that thing going to burn on me? Baking tray, blender, blowtorch. We have all this junk. Knife. We got lots of knives. Spatula. Tongs. I didn't see tongs anywhere. Let's grab a pair of those. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to use that to pick up our fancy potato. We've got time. We've got time to grab the potato. We've, we might have passed the five second rule, though. Hopefully it didn't get too cold down here. Thank you for your potato goodness. Um, can I tell it to put this on the plate? Come on. Don't do this to me. All right. Apparently I can't. Um, let's release that. Oh, almost the perfect toss. Okay. Um, grab our pork chop. You know, actually, what am I doing? I'm, I'm using the tongs to pick this up. I can just get it with the plate. Pork chop, I think, is ready. Grab our... Is it on there? I think I threw it on the floor again. Oh, man. Minute 43 over. Oh, good. The potato that fell off is still flying with it. <laughs> we got busted on realization time. Not surprisingly. Uh, guest complaints. Baked potatoes didn't have any salt. All right. Technique on the baked potato. Bad cutting technique. You know what? You try using this knife. Honestly. Thing's not good. Uh, tomato soup. We have made this before, so we should be able to get this relatively quickly. Uh, I'm just going to snap all the ingredients together here. Just like magic. Okay. We're ready to go. I think this is all set. We'll throw this on. Oh, we need our sour cream afterward. And I left my oven on again because that's how we roll around here. Let's just get the pan off here. Why start a new element when well, we can just put this one on? Okay. That's going to take a little bit of cooking time. Then we're going to need to blend it and add sour cream. And then pour it into a deep dish plate. We might as well get all this stuff ready ahead of time. The ingredients are cooked. They're actually going a little overcooked. Um, our soup's not done yet, though. So we're going to go ahead and blend this. I think that's how we have to do this kind of stuff. You cook the pork, partially cook the ingredients, and then you blend it into the hole and let it finish. I hope that's right. We slightly overcooked it, but I mean, it could be worse. 0.6 liters. Again, the sour cream in here, we're going to need 150 milliliters. Okay, that's finished cooking. We'll switch that off. Look at that. I finally remembered once. First time ever. Sour cream's got to go in here. Give me that sweet, sweet sour creamy goodness. Oh, almost the perfect pour. Not quite. Ugh, I only needed three milliliters of it, and I put in like ten. Why does it sound like it's still pouring? That's a little gross. Okay, this can go in our bowl. Assuming I can pour this without overflowing it again. Ooh, I think I actually got a good pour that time. First time ever. Every other time I spilled some on the, uh, spilled some all over the counter. This does not require any garnish, I don't believe. Nope, pour liquid in the hot plate and serve hot. All right, we're good. I think we got this one knocked out, which is funny because it, we actually started this one late based on how we did it on our first dish. Jackpot, five-star tomato soup. Bam. It was perfect. Too much onion. I only... All right, whatever. Apparently, my technique was perfect. Temperature was perfect. I don't know how they could say there was too much onion. I followed the recipe exactly. Once you finish, we're closing down for the night. No more new orders. Really? Two orders today? Where was the food critic? I thought this was food critic day. All right, our kitchen's clean and tidy. I actually remember to turn stuff off this time. The stove, unfortunately, or the oven, I, I, you know, again, I didn't, I didn't exactly turn it off. I'm gonna get that fixed. Um, this is kind of, kind of, kind of into my profit a little bit, but nice corp can come fix that. It's only gonna take them a few seconds. We are done for the day. Let's get out of here and go drinking. Well, I would say day three turned out okay, but uh, we lost a little money. Lost 125C. Expenses were 203. I wonder if part of that's probably because I didn't redid the floor or whatever. 
Tomorrow we're getting inspected. It's a great chance we were... I thought... Weren't we getting inspected already? Fortunately, we did level up to level 3, so that gives me a new perk option available. So let's go ahead and pick that. Uh, let's see. We have unbreakable uh, bottles of lever break. Heatproof gloves. Pick up and carry hot ingredients in your hands. That could be a really good one. Longer reach when picking up and putting down items. Thermal vision. Learn the temperature of ingredients in a closed oven. That's exactly what I was just complaining about. We're totally picking that. I mean, picking stuff up with your hands would be good too, but... Uh, and then we have skill points, of course, we can do as well. Guest pay... Uh, guest pay 10%, 30%, 50% more for their orders without affecting the score. Fabulous. Okay, we've got that. Uh, achievement, you're the best around. Apparently I am. Today is a great opportunity to demonstrate your amazing skills. Hope you're ready. Ah, amazing, that's one word for it. Within an hour, we'll be open for business. This is the time to get ready for work. Uh, now, you can actually do, like, prep ingredients and stuff. The food critics should be here in about five hours. Um, you can use this time to prep ingredients and stuff if you have a, an idea of what you're going to need. Uh, like, we could chop up to, uh, chop up lemons and that kind of stuff. I kind of hope people order tomato soup because we have some left over from last day. I only have ten of these fancy renown points, uh, and I don't think that will buy me any additional dishes. So we're going to be just working with the dishes we had already. Ooh, there's pasta in here. Fusilli with ne Neapolitan sauce. That seems all right. Nevertheless, I'm not going to do the prep phase. Um, I think as we start to get more more dishes that come in and we are start getting multiple orders, it would make a lot of sense to have stuff prepped ahead of time. New order: steak with boiled potato, or salmon steak with boiled potatoes. So pretty much bland on bland. Too much. I put in 11, but that's all right. 11's not bad. We can still do a good job with 11. It's, you know, it's not an exact science. Cooking is more of an art. Salmon filet. We're going to need, uh, we need the pot. 120 seconds to boil the pot. So I think we're going to turn them both on at the same time. They should be finished pretty much at the same time that way. We'll fill this up. I need, a, like, a liter of water in here. Jackpot. Pretty much nailed that, I think. Uh, so we have our pot of water. Uh, that's gonna, Actually, we need two potatoes. We might as well put those in here now. Pretty sure it's 300 grams of potatoes we need for this dish. I really should open up another menu. Yeah, 300 grams. Uh, we need 20 grams of salt in here, too, because, you know, you got to season the water. You can't, uh, can't be boiling stuff with no seasoning in there. All right, there is our salmon filet, and I did it again. i got to remember, when you pick stuff up, you can't move away too quickly, or it tends to end up on the floor. We're going to charge extra for this one, for the extra seasoning. Okay, uh, this needs 5 grams of salt, 5 grams of black pepper, and that is it. No more, no less. We got that covered. Look at that, we're practically chefs here. Or something. Alright, uh, add the pan, fry for 60 seconds. Everything's ready to go, I just got to turn it on. That's good. It's very good. Okay, uh, this can go in here. I think this is the front burner. Yes. Perfect. 60 seconds on the salmon, then we flip it. Uh, 120 seconds on the potatoes in terms of boiling. Uh, we're just going to use a normal... What size plate is the Place basic. Yeah, we use a large basic plate. Salmon's ready to flip. We'll snag that. Uh, with the advanced controls, I can go in here and we can move vertically. Advanced controls, move vertically. How do I move forward with this thing, though? That... That was not even close. Pick it up. Flip it. Uh, okay, we're going to cook it on its side. Because, uh, you know, why not? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just... Get, just get in the pan. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Where'd the salmon go? Okay, there it is. Okay, we're good. It's just a little floor bound. It's to, oh no! I, oh, I, I got, no! This dish was going so perfectly. I need I need to fix this spatula. I can't hold it properly. There we go. We got it. Okay, now rotate. You put it the wrong way. Oh, come on, it was even facing the right side down. All you had to do was pick it up and put it in the pan exactly the way that it was. And it would have been fine. Can you do that for me? No, of course you can't. There. Nailed it. I think I overcooked my potatoes now, though. 
Let's get the potatoes out of the water. I'm pretty sure they're done, done, done. Oh, they're actually pretty much right on. Look at that. And that is why we're a four-star Michelin chef. Okay, it's finally cooked. Uh, that was not what I meant to do. I want to turn this off. There we go. Remember to turn stuff off so it doesn't get wrecked. That would be a good thing. That's a pretty shiny looking salmon, but we'll take it. It seems to be done, I think, hopefully right. Let's let's see what the customer has to say about our poisson de flore. Bam! Almost five stars. Apparently ground seasoning adds superior flavor. What's the guests have to say? Too much salt. I used the right amount of salt. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Heating mistakes. <laughs> oh, if they only knew. It's a good thing they can't see into the kitchen. Bing! New order! Okay, this is that borscht I totally messed up before. Ukrainian borscht, chicken broth, etc, etc. Uh, I was hoping I could use this water again, but I, I guess I'm not going to be able to. This pan needs to go in the dish pit over here. How do I just drop it? I want to... Yep, that's what I wanted. Stupid pan. Doesn't look like it has any liquid in it, so that's fine. Uh, actually, I actually think the liquid's all over the stove. Alright, perfect. I gotta dump this out. No, this one's gotta go. Nope! All right, uh, the pot's empty. Uh, I need to hire a cleaning staff. Okay, this requires chicken broth, salt, black pepper, beetroot 600 grams, onion 120, carrot 70, parsley root 80. All right, black pepper, salt, and chicken broth. We need 1,000 milliliters of chicken broth. I don't know how much is left in this container. 278 milliliters, apparently. Just dump it all in. We've only got 278 in there anyway. This can then go in the garbage. Conveniently placed garbage can. Thank you very much for that. Okay. There is currently in this pot a lot of junk. How much chicken broth have we got? 268 milliliters we have in here now. Please, please give me an indicator that shows just how much is in here. Oh, it splits it in two. All right. So I... <laughs> Good lord. I need uh, 733 to top this up. Oh, I overshot a tiny little bit. Whatever, it's fine. Eat it anyway. Uh, salt, 20 grams, and black pepper. All right. It's kind of a lot, of, a lot of salt and pepper in here, but it's up to you, buddy. I just make the recipes. That's not fair. The salt was going on the... Okay, apparently you need to do this in a certain order. I salted the vegetables. I don't know how much salt is in here now. All right, whatever. That's enough salt. Frankly, the broth is salty anyway. If you want more salt, like, I don't know what you're doing to your taste buds, but it's not good things. That's that's all i got to say about, about that. 20 grams of black pepper. Okay, so <laughs> you've really got to be careful where you click on this stuff. I hadn't even thought about that. Boil for 120 seconds and then pour the liquid into the deep plate and serve it up. Uh, I know in this one here, I tried to blend it before, and that was apparently the wrong thing to do. We actually just need to cook it in here. Uh, to get all the flavors into the liquid, and then all the vegetables and stuff come out. Um, to get them out, though, I, th I have a feeling they're going to be hot. So, I need to kind of watch how they cook individually, because they seem to take different amounts of time to cook. Yeah, see how the onion is cooking faster than everything else? I don't want it to, bur I don't want it to burn in there, so I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to take it out when it gets to the cook point. The onion's done. I'm going to transfer it into this pan and see what happens. It says soup for the liquid, and I... I don't know whether it's supposed to say what I'm actually making or whether it really is supposed to say soup. It's just funny that the onion cooks so much faster than everything else. Yeah, so again, everything is cooking up before the soup is ready. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to take out all the individual ingredients to keep them from overcooking. Maybe? I mean, I don't, I don't know. We'll try this. We'll pop all the ingredients out and we'll see what happens. It could be at this point we're just kind of getting the soup up to temperature. Okay, let's grab a bowl. Come on, give me my bowl. Set that down over here. How much does it even say? How much even goes into the bowl? Pour 300 milliliters into the into the deep plate. This is ready. Let me turn this off. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. She's ready. Please tell me this borscht turn out better than the than the the last borscht. Two hundred twenty nine milliliters. I need a little bit more. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. 
Oh, gave them like way too much. 400. Oh, and I spilled it all over. Good job. There's got to be an easier way to do that. I, I'm pouring it in directly, but I, can I like ladle it or something? Like something that gives me a little more control over the quantity. I feel like there should be. Put that on the pass. Wait a minute. No, yeah, right. I think I think I got it. I can't remember whether I have to. I don't remember whether there was any garnish uh, after I put it down there. Oh, four stars. I mean, that's already better than we did last time. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know what we can do better. Not enough onion. Not enough salt. Well, not surprised about the salt. I guess I had to leave the onion longer. I don't get it. Wrong amount of product. Yeah. Well, whatever. Food critic is about to order. Get ready. <laughs> what am I gonna get ready yet? I got, a, I got a horrible mess in here. That was the food critic's order. Okay, this guy wants the trout. Uh, fortunately, the trout is relatively straightforward to make. So let's go ahead and slap this together for him. We want to get it out in good time. You got to impress the food critics so they don't give you good restaurant ratings in their paper and stuff. And if you don't have good ratings, yeah, it's fine. He won't know. <laughs> I just threw it on the floor a second of time. Just pick up the trout. Thank you. So about those uh, about those food ratings, uh, he won't mind lint on his fish, right? Black pepper, thyme, and dill. Uh, this was like the only dish that doesn't require salt. That's a little weird. All right. Time's running out. I don't even have this thing in the oven yet. Are you kidding me? How demanding is this critic? I mean, aside from the fact that he's a critic. Everybody's a critic. There. Okay, straight in the oven with you. It's a good thing I don't have to worry about setting temperatures and stuff on this. Give me that. No. Ugh, too close. No, just open the door. I don't know why I have such trouble putting stuff in here. It's really kind of ridiculous, actually. Okay. That is in the oven. It needs to bake for 90 seconds. It needs horseradish afterwards. I gotta remember to do that. I did forget last time. What are you talking about running out of time? No, kinds of time. Cut the lemon into quarters. 20 grams each. Give me this. Thank you. Let's see our magical knife skills. Please, please, oh please. Don't give me any like paper thin slices of lemon. That's not what I'm going for. I promise you, it is not what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, chop once. Kacha. Rotate around. We'll keep the product held. Oops, I want to go this way. I kind of wish I could rotate the product instead of just the knife. Acha! Shabamo! That's like perfect. Best lemon slices ever. This guy's going to be so impressed. I hope the fish is okay. Our magic trout is finished. Let's turn this off. Look at that. I remembered. It's just like putting oil in the car in Car Mechanic Simulator. Can't get that right either. But I do it once in a while. Apparently I do that here too. Okay, so we have our fish. Uh, this needs horseradish stuff a majiggy on it. Dried horseradish. I don't know why we're sprinkling on this after it's finished. I don't know, but... Whatever. I hope this guy really likes dried horseradish. Five grams. We're good. I think this game throws you a curveball sometimes. It makes you think you put on the stuff that you need to... But it's not quite not quite there yet. It's all part of its devious plan. Trying to make it look bad. Okay, so we need six grams of parsley leaves, and then this should be pretty much perfect, I think. Take that parsley and like it. It's like it's like feeding somebody grass. Enjoy. Bing bing. Show me that perfect score. Show me a five. Yeah, nailed it. Take that, food critic. Whoa, why'd my fame go down? What happened? What happened? Perfect, perfect, perfect. The perfect trout. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you very much. We can retire now. We knocked that one out of the park. That should give us a good restaurant review, too. So, I, oh, you know what? I think I leveled up my restaurant fame, and so it goes back to the beginning to start again. That's what it was. We got four cooking points, too. Exam passed. We did it. Just wait till people start banging at our doors. New fame level. Bam. Oh, uh, all right. I guess we need uh, soup. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Tomato soup. We have some of that. It's on the back burner. Let's throw this stuck on. Holy cow, it's already almost finished. This is going to be the fastest served soup order ever. Um, it was pretty close to perfect. I don't think it was bang on, but... <laughs> As I pour it, it's actually... That's interesting. It's actually draining the pot, so the pour stops. 
Oh, 302. That's nearly perfect. We'll take it. Now, the nice thing is, because this was already prepared, we saved on cooking time. Oh, my... What the heck? I got a trophy on the floor. We saved on cooking time, which gave us more time to work on the poor, which is kind of something I was not doing well before. We'll take that tomato soup and like it. You know it's going to be good. Oh, four and a half stars. What? It was... I swear I, got, I did better on that one yesterday. Oh, right. The tomato thing. The temperature was too cold. No, 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 no. I heated that up. I swear I reheated that. No longer taking orders. Finish what we started. That's the end of the day. We nailed this trophy. I don't know where to put it. Do I have a trophy shelf somewhere? Boom. We'll stick it up there. I don't... I don't know if that's where it's supposed to go, but that's where we'll put our trophy. Looking all fancy in our kitchen. All right, I'm going to clean up the kitchen for the night so we can get ready for the next day. Uh, try to impress some more customers, make some more buck, uh, earn some more points and stuff. This is going to take a little bit of cleanup because i got stuff to dump out and what have you. But thanks, everyone, for coming to check out the video. Uh, we will come back and check out some more. I want to keep cooking. I kind of enjoy this. I like cooking in my own kitchen. Now, the, granted, uh, granted, this isn't exactly the same. <laughs> but I... All right, you stay there. Thanks again, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.